Here we go, team. Happy yeah. Monday. Here we go. Celine is uh, <laughs> fun and I'm alive. Good friends, she wants us of love. We can worry all the time. Sunny days, it's fun. I'm alive. Oh, yeah. I've hit a few bad chica, ones. Chica, chica. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Weekend Warriors. What episode we reckon? Episode number 13 with your boy Nugget across from the table. Whoa, from whoa. the one, yeah. the only, Foldsy. That's a big, uh, big intro. I don't mind it. I don't mind <laughs> That's it. That's a new intro I've decided. We've got a big one today. We've got a uh, big intro, a big uh, big episode. It's going to be a fun one. How was the weekend there? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, not, not much to uh, kind of divulge in the way of weekend warrior type stuff so i think i had one beer for the weekend went went to the movies oh, beautiful. ended up seeing uh air yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. you said so, you watched that last night as well. yeah i watched yeah. that last so I, I didn't realize it was on the movies and the mm. uh which is a bit different isn't it it's weird that you went to the movies to watch it and probably paid how much you reckon <clears throat> i think it was about 20 bucks or so 20 bucks a ticket and then we were just yeah had it on paramount so yeah or, Paramount, or one of those things or uh one prime or something but um it's weird that they do that, like that they've got it on the movies and the streaming at the same time. Absolute disaster, yeah. I th- thought, uh, you know, Air was only airing on, on the movies and I paid 20 bucks and I hear from you that it's free. But it was uh, good though, hey? A good, very yeah, good show. Yeah, ripper movie. Um, who's a, who's a, big stars in it. Ma- yeah, massive stars. It was good. Matt Damon looked a bit bit tubs, didn't he? He apparently put on a stack of weight for, for the, the role. Uh, for the role, yeah. Mm. So, no, he, uh, Matt Damon's always great. Uh, great actor. So is Ben. Ben Affleck. Affleck. Uh, Jason, he, was, he was good as... Jason, um, uh, what, Jason, what's his name? Bateman. Jason Bateman's always <laughs> yeah. a bit funny. He's pretty good. Those three were great. Uh, was Chris Tucker in it? Was that Chris, Chris, Chris Tucker? Tucker. Um, Throw about Chris Tucker. Who was the uh, the mum? Because she's Rose Byrne. No, no, that's no, not Rose Byrne. Uh, Rose Byrne is... Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, the mum for Jordan's mum? Yeah. Not sure. She is was, she, she's well known. Is I've she? Yeah, okay. Flying about. Um, so yeah, yeah, a bit of a story about how um, yeah Nike pretty much came to... Uh, to make the Air Jordans, mm. eh? Is that pretty much the uh, the basis of it, wasn't it? Pretty much, yeah. Just how they uh, how they how they signed Jordan and kind of the, the lengths they kind of went to. Um, old mate ventured down there when when they told him not to not to get in contact with the with the parents. He he flew down there and drove. That's and it. Just rocked and up. Nike at their house. wanted him and Adidas and Converse. They all wanted mm-hmm. him, and um, they're all kind of offering the same money. So it was it was kind of just like where <laughs> where his parents thought he fit in. Mm. It was crazy that Jordan wasn't even going to meet with him. That was the crazy thing, though. Mm, didn't want to bar him. Didn't look happy in those meetings, did he? Nah. Just didn't, it's, it's kind of, it's, it was a good kind of take on the whole thing. That You didn't really even see Jordan's face. He didn't nah, talk. not at all. It was more about the parents, wasn't it, and stuff like that. So, no, it was very well done. That I'd, I'd suggest, uh, what would you what'd you say out of 10? What would you hit it with? Uh, I actually really enjoyed That's my sort of movie, uh, you know. We kind of, you kind of knew the story and that sort of stuff. It was good to see. I'm saying, I'm going with an eight, eight and a half. I loved it. Mm, I'd, I'd, I'd say it. eight and a half. Yeah, uh, eight and a half uh, basketballs for me. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so I thought it was uh, very good. So, yeah, if you're out there, get to uh, on Prime. I think it is all the movies. Get down, a good show, good show. But um, we got a big one today. We got the tier list. It's back. Tier list. We're do something a bit different today. We're gonna go with TV shows. We've done uh, beers. We've done takeaway foods. That, we've done the three old video games, the Nintendo sixty four games. Today we're going oh, yeah. TV shows. TV comedies, I think. From so this is the fourth reports. week in, so we must be a month into the pod. Is it really? Must be if this That's is the crazy. fourth Monday or mm. just just kind of start, which goes is quick, quite goes quick. good. We've only got eighteen subscribers, so you know, give us a subscribe. We're struggling there. Disastrous. Help us out. Help us it takes out. a while on YouTube. Yeah, it's a slow burner, but uh, it's going to be good. So we got that. Got a few other things. The top five challenges and the um, got the top five. We've got the recap of the sports. I watched a bit of the uh, NHL yesterday, so I could really recap. They'll put a bit of work in. On oh, the yeah, weekend. so you can yeah. recap rather than getting Kroll's recap. Yeah, so Kroll out, and Nugget getting, back good. in, so Sportsman. They what? did win, though, isn't, didn't they, from all reports? They won. Yeah, I was spewing because I actually I watched the first two periods and it was 2 2. And then I had to, um, we had to, had to fly off. I had something on in the. Oh, other. really? So, yeah, you couldn't so see I missed the last, and they, they had a, they, uh, they must have hit three goals in the, or three, yeah, three goals in the last period to win 5 2. The big, the golden. That's the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Yeah, that's it. So okay, we can recap that. So what do we? So well, should I go through a bit of my weekend? Just so yeah, I think you there, you had more of a weekend warrior type sitch. 
Friday night went down to um, see Palmy Dillon. Uh, Palmy Dillon had a, uh, <coughs> had a had a show on a clothing launch. We're going to get the boys on. They're very keen. So <laughs> I talk, spoke the to them then. When are we getting them on? Are uh, they ever coming on? They just want to. Uh, yeah, they want to get it done. They they're excited. They want to be on the pod. So we'll get them down to Torres, their clothing brand. Get them down. He played a show. A uh, good little show down there. Good little turnout for there in um in uh, Northcote. Then on um Saturday. Uh, yeah, just went out to Sunbury. We played a show in Sunbury with right after midnight. Mm. Got out there. The place was chockers. With Johnny Pav. Yeah, it was hard to. Um, it was weird because we would drive in there, Sunbury, middle of nowhere. We thought, you know, I've never really been to Sunbury, so it wasn't anywhere near like the the main center or anything like that. It was. Just oh, wasn't it? In an industrial area, kind of like this. Ah, there you go. Um, but the place was great. Yeah, it was great. The joint was packed. Uh, people were drinking and uh, the good tunes. The sound was good there. Everyone was having a good time. A few so, Coronas, a few Stone Awards. What yeah. were we go with? What were you drinking? Uh, what are they drinking now? I was drinking actually Young Henry's out on tap. Young Henry's uh, Pale Ale. It wasn't too bad. Where are we talking? What 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 list? What, uh, yeah, what? that wasn't on the list that we did at the... Uh, the it was? I don't think it was. Oh, no, okay. not the one we did. Where would but, you chuck it though? Uh, I'd put it you up in guess. what tiers. Probably... Um, but, not bad, probably still B tier. Yeah, still okay, it yeah. wouldn't be up better than there. a Furphy though. You tell me, definitely better than a Furphy, and okay. and not bad to just kind of have all all day, all night, drink it. Uh, so it was pretty pretty easy to drink. I'm so. off the Furfies. I think this week, at, uh, Friday, I'm down down zero three. If you watch the Friday, oh yeah, podcast, get back and watch the Friday oh, one. One of the best. I've nailed him again. What was that? NBA Kobe Bryant, NBA court uh NBA yep, court courtside, side. and uh, you got yeah, I got done again. But the I think it's the 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 Furphy beers are, are killing me. So I'm going this week. I'm buying a slab for the boys. Oh yeah, what are you getting? Corona? Coronas. Yeah, nice. And I'm gonna or Stone and Woods. We'll see if Coronas are cheaper. I think. So and we're gonna go what with the Diddy Kong Racing. Diddy Kong Racing this Friday. So I can guarantee. You reckon you've got it in the bag. A win this Friday. All right. For the, well, for we... the Nugget fans out there, for the whole two Nugget fans. <laughs> we do want to see the. Uh, we do want to see that. We do want to see you come back with a bit of because I think Diddy Kong as well. You'll probably get. I, I'm pretty good at that as well, I reckon, from uh, memory back in the back in the my heyday. Yeah, good game, good but, uh, game. Yeah, so Looking yeah, well, good little it. show there. Johnny Pav uh, jumped up on stage. We pl- we played not too bad actually. Yeah, good. Some, yeah, Are I the think boys happy with it. Yeah, I think we we're pretty happy with this one. We've um we've got these new little in ear monitors so we can hear because the boys are pretty deaf. Johnny and um, RJ because they're tradie mm. boys. Uh, they they can't you know they they, they struggle to hear really what's going on, so it's hard to. <laughs> When you jam together all the time in one room and then you go and play live where mm. all the sounds different and stuff like that after a few beers, you kind of the boys can't hear too well. So we got these little new in ear monitor things. Oh, we must tried be them nice. out for the first time and um Well the, the yeah, right, going to the next level. We kind of cheaped out a little bit on them. RJ uh, bought bought uh, bought the boys a little pack. They did pretty good. We I think we kind of cheaped out a little bit on them, so they did have a few little issues here and there, but definitely a good start for the boys to get their uh their act together. So good weekend, went back to a house party. Then I went back. Oh, what to, time did you call it? Well, actually, I went back to this house party. Then I got a lift back to DFO in Essendon. Oh, okay. At yep. about what time was it? About I was at DFO Essendon about uh, twenty to three okay. in the morning, and then I got a diddy from uh, DFO Essendon to Deluxe and snuck <laughs> into the last three and minutes. snuck into Deluxe for the last five minutes because <laughs> I was wearing the whole kit and everything. So they yeah, wouldn't, yeah. Wouldn't was let it just me, you, or did you have a few? Not just crew? me. So it was Joshy's birthday, Joshy McGuinness's birthday. So we oh, was it? Went down and uh, went down and met up. No call up for Nug. Uh, yeah, Rough. he probably would have got the uh, the the uh, invite. Actually, I don't know if he did an invite for this one. He was pretty. Uh, he loves his birthday, but he's a bit low key. Maybe because he's got the Dale now. Mm. You know, he's, uh, was there a bit of a crew there or up. at lights um, when you got them pretty late? I was pretty late. Just your regular late nighters, like yeah, um, your late night crew. You call it yeah, so like Stefo was there, and then you had like the Jake Jake O'Donnells, mm-hmm. and you had the Boscolos and Joshy. So the, the late night crew ended up going to Mac's on Keeler Road <laughs> and all that uh, all that late night shenanigans. But yeah, no, nah, good weekend. Um, mm. Feeling a bit rough today, still as you do. Yeah, you're looking rough. You got the new, is that a different top I see, or is that? Ah, uh, no, this is just my, uh, oh, my, uh, you know, my gym kind of uh, get up. If I can, you know, it gives me a bit of motivation to hit the gym on a Monday. So I think we got the boys coming into the basketball uh, uh, to have a few shots. So I'll have a bit of a workout, get a bit get of basketball. that training session in, yeah, mm, training up. So what do you think? Should we get straight into the tier list? Yeah, so looking forward to see. I don't want to hear too much about it, you know. Oh, weekend warriors. That's what they're here for. They're here for the froffies. That's I think. true. That's true. That's true. Well, uh, yeah, nothing over the top, but uh, it was good. Actually, there was actually there was a good actually uh, what story there. Uh, there was this one bloke. He was going to go up and sing with um, Rocky. Was the main headliner. He was playing. He had this guy. He's called a Willie J. Amazing, great, great muso. Jump, so he was about to jump up on stage, right? 
and there was like a little green room. So you'd come down from stairs onto the stage. Oh, okay. So he was up there yeah. waiting for his um for his call up. waiting for his call up, right? So he was up there a few songs before, you know, just sitting in their green room, essentially backstage, right? But to come backstage, you have to come down these stairs. So and he's pe- like pissed as drunk as, and he's right. awesome. He sings like um ACDC songs real well. Yeah, he's like a okay. real good. He's got a real good voice. Um, and <laughs> I just, as he's coming down the steps. I don't know what happened. Him and his mate just started like wrestling up there and they ended up barreling down the stairs. They full rolled down about 10 flights, like probably about 10 stairs and just fell, hit the deck like all the way down. Bang, 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 bang. While they they were still playing another song. Great to see. (laughs) That's hilarious. Full rock and roll. Like, you know, it's what you want to see at a rock and roll show. You don't want everything to go smoothly. So that was great. And then on the floor, everyone thought he was knocked out, concussed for ages, didn't get up for like another song. And then they got him up there and then he belted it out and killed it. So he's back. Uh, so that's, just a fall over. So, but that's rock and roll. That's, that's uh, Weekend Warriors. About. But like, let's get into, so here we go. We've got the tier list, they call it. Uh, this is going to be TV shows, comedy version. We're going to go. Mm, I like so that. Comedy you can version. see our list here. Oh, I've got to get a screen recording on, don't I? Yeah, make sure you get the screen recording on. You know, we've been pretty good lately. Uh, it's been running a bit more smoothly than normal. Um, but, you know, sometimes Folds is going to forget to record the screen. That's That happens sometimes. Yeah, that's right? it. I think... Um, I think I did. Yeah, I actually, I don't know if you got to watch back the uh, the other Friday night, uh, the Friday one, but um, the 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 what comes next challenge didn't get recorded somehow. Ah, uh, so but it was still you know a very good watch. That was probably our best step yet. I reckon it was. Oh yeah, we were it's doing very well on that solid. one. Yeah. yeah. So go back and watch. I that do one, enjoy but- that. Fridays they're my favorite uh, favorite time of the week. Get nestled into a few froffies and some, play uh, some uh, yeah, sixty four. So- talk some G. All right, so here we go. TV shows, comedy. Uh, we've got all the we got the trash. This is a good the list because we've got the trash there. Yeah, uh, so, the ones we don't know, we'll leave out. Yeah, um, for sure. But yes, yeah, so we're gonna go start from. So these are all comedies. Um, let's go. So Bing Bang, Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Don't oh, it first up. Love let it. us know how you go. What do you think about the Big Bang? Love. I'm a massive fan of Big Bang. Absolute massive fan. So for me, that goes straight on the A list. For me. Okay, cool, cool. So I don't actually know too much about the Big yep. Bang. Oh, give it a watch. Never. Great. Yeah, so I've watched it. I I don't think I love it as much as most. I don't think the some of that in like you know the nerd comedy or whatever yeah. they're trying to pull over there is not. I don't. Know, I, I don't mind it. I think. I think they're definitely. It's a good easy watch. It is quite. I don't an have anything against it. Definitely. I don't yeah. know if I like it as much as some. You know, I could see next comes up two and a half men. You know, ch- d- uh, dirty old Charlie old Shane. You know, that's <laughs> that's probably more more my my, my alley, but. All right, so if you're working A, I'm thinking A is just. Let's just start it there, and we'll see how rolls. Yeah, I think this might sure. be a bit of a tweak this one because it's going to be hard to because you know once you throw something else up there, then you'll be like, oh, that means I'll make you drop down. So we had to we had to tweak it. But so don't judge us till the end. Yeah, uh, we'll get to it to the, the final. End we can the start final judging. product. Which mm. is fair. So yeah. So next we've got two and a half men. Oh, and mm. I like two and a half men. I reckon back in its day that was a very good watch. I two didn't. And a half yeah, men. I didn't mind two and a half men. Mm. Um, but. Doesn't doesn't land for me as much as Big Bang, unfortunately. Yep. Okay. So see, yeah. So so you'd have it in front. I'd have it behind. I but, would put. I don't. I'm. I'm still would do like. I've. There's some. I can see some good ones coming up, and we want to. You know, we don't want too many on the S tier, and yeah. then you have your A. You know, pretty stacked with all the other like real yeah, top yeah. ones. So I think I'd be happy to put that there there for now. The old Big the Bang B, Theory on I B. Like that. I like happy that with a lot. that. Yeah. Uh, Charlie yep, yep. Sheen and the crew. Uh, good little show there. Until and then Ashton Kutcher came in. I didn't really watch it when Ashton. Did watch Ashton? Nah, yeah, I, I, yeah. From all, I, I actually like Ashton Kutcher in general. So, well, that's probably, why they're on the B as well because you got to we got to take into account all the seasons. You know, if if it if it uh, starts off hot and then the last four seasons are trash, mm, you got to take like that seventy show yeah, last season. Ooh. That's gonna that's gonna cost it because it's it's quality, but it, it, it'll still be on S. It dies. Yeah. Um. All right. So Malcolm in the Middle. What oh. do you think? I I, I didn't. Didn't like get into Malcolm yeah. that much. It was always on, and I think I reckon like at the same time, maybe in the morning or something mm. like that before school. I'm or... happy to throw it in the sea. I don't think it's terrible. No, like, no, no. I've, not watched terrible. A few, I've watched a few episodes. People love. Funny. I think people are going to come after us for that, but we'll keep it there for now and see. But I think I like the C list. It's it, de- like... Yeah, definitely not quite two and a half men, but uh, yeah, I think C is C I, is fine. Word. I like that. I like so. Um, there we go. We got Thirty Rock. Never really seen it. So. I watched a bit of it. Chucking it. It wasn't. It was kind of funny, but chucking it a D for me. Okay. Yeah. They could, so I can. I can. I've heard people really like that show. So it could people <laughs> I mean, could come brother for us, loved it. Really? So Foldy, uh, Foldy, big Foldy. They might. Uh, they might come after us for that. But no, that's, that's good. We, we want to know your thoughts down below. As uh, so everyone loves Raymond, that was a bit of a classic, to be honest. Back I like. Yeah. So. I'd, I'd almost, put that in the B. I'd put I'd put that in the B behind two and a half uh, men though. Behind two and a half men, yeah. that was a it was a pretty good 
Easy, it, another easy watch. You could you could just watch it. Yeah, you, know, you go home. Ray Romano on, and yeah. the crew. Yeah, very easy watch. Really. Um, but yeah, I actually didn't find um, I find it pretty funny. Yeah, him and his brother and the whole deal. So good little uh, show there. Uh, South Park. I was a big fan. <laughs> you love kid. South Park. Yeah, I used to love it. For some, and then for now, I would like never go near it. I don't know. I would yeah. never think about watching it or anything. People but, um, absolutely love South Park. Love South love Park. It. So you wouldn't want to put that too low. So um, trash for me. No, <laughs> I actually, I actually hurt, quite uh, enjoy it. Uh, so I think well. We got to also think how it's, you know, how, what how, we liked it, but also like how it rated. Like it's still like a staple. People absolutely love yeah. it. So I'd be putting it ahead of Malcolm in the middle, that's for sure. So yeah. I, can maybe I, I think you'd have to DP. put it at the end of B, I think, you know, for now. Yeah, let it slide sure. down the ranks because um, it was a very good show and people you know, it still love goes. People love they've it. They've got the fanatics, yeah. They do, they do. So Is um, it still rolling? Still rolls, I'm pretty South sure. still episodes. rolling. Yeah, nice. Kenny's so, still um, alive? Uh, Kenny, yeah. <laughs> everywhere. Well, that's the thing. I stopped watching it with early days. You know, I watched the first few seasons. And yeah, then it, it started. I think then he got his mask off on. I think there's a whole thing behind <laughs> it, but I'm not uh, obliged to talk about it because I don't know much about it. So next we have The Office. Yeah, classic. You like The Office, so you keep talking about The Office. I'm gonna go charge his laptop up before it uh, dies. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, The Office. Uh, I've just kind. Of, I haven't seen up until the last season, so we're, we're just kind of slowly getting into it now. But the first. Three or four seasons that I've been watching, absolute hilarious. Um, is that the? Do you know if that's the American Office? It looks like. Australian. I mean, American. Yeah, because there's the apparently the British one. There's only one season, but it's really funny. Um, but yeah, the Office quite good with uh, Steve Carroll. Um, Steve Carell, maybe. Steve Carell is that how you pronounce it? I don't it? think so, but that. Will how take some it. guy had had a go at me? It is off topic. It, you know how they call it Adidas? That's the actual way to pronounce yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he wasn't happy with that he either. Happy, and he's like, this guy should lose a point. But I've pronounced it what? right. I know in Australia we call it I Adidas. think it's Adidas. In Australia we call it Adidas. But I think I think oh, it's one on, of those things. On the show last on night. On the show they're all Adidas. Was, yeah, I was, I was watching about the movie last night. They were, they were saying Adidas. Adidas. So I think that's so, the, that's the uh, original form. Johnny, sure. I'm going to I'm gonna plug this. I'm going to show. <laughs> no, I can't remember his name. But yeah, so. But yeah, uh, the offer's quite good. I'd be putting it. Um, Ahead of two and a half men, if it was up to me, but yep, okay, the office. Yeah, see, I, 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 I haven't watched enough of the office, but I know every part I have watched is hilarious. It is, uh, it's very funny, and he's very good. The whole thing, and people love it. It's like a state that show is, and as you said, yeah, the, the the UK one's a monster as well, and that's very funny too. But yeah, the uh, the American one, very good. Uh, what do we got next? Friends, hang yeah. talk about friends, will you? Friends is iconic. Uh, it's gonna have to be an S tier for me. Uh, still holds up, I think, and you know, it's just. Probably the, or if not the best, one of the best uh, sitcoms of all time rated. Uh, obviously before streaming and all that sort of stuff, so it's kind of hard to to differentiate between that and the new the new ones that get get watched. But you know, friends, you got Ross, you got Rach, you got Joey, you got you got Chandler, you got Monica, you got the whole crew. Phoebe, I, I still would say, yeah, personally, that I reckon that's one of the best, if not the best, comedy of all time. Mm. So I'm going to throw that up there. Straight S tier. So that's that's S tier. Now. I love Friends. Everyone loves Friends. I've got one other. There's one other show that I think, if people said, "What's your favorite show ever, comedy wise?" I would think of two. Yours, Friends this is the next one. So, and uh, that '70s yeah, show. I, like it. I knew so you'd I, go there. I'm a massive that '70s show fan. I'd almost. I'm not going to put it in front of Friends because I know that it um that might hurt a fair few people. But I have to put this on the S tier. It's absolute. Gold. Yeah, you can chuck that on the STL. I'm happy with that. I actually quite like that. You're 70s. that 70 show dies now, off at the last season though, and that that that'll hurt it. I did, which I, could I, friends be, didn't. Friends didn't really die off. The cast stayed the same the whole time. Solid. Still comedy gold to the much. end. So that's why we'll put that. Keep that number one because they did. Yeah, you know, they weren't losing characters. You know, they 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 didn't hate each other probably on set like a 70s show all day. Nah, nah. They that that's kind of you know when you're rating these things and you're doing the tears, you got to take that into account. That the last it didn't. It didn't make it to the full season. That's same with uh, we'll get to it, but Scrubs because Scrubs is an absolute classic, but that, mm. it, it died off at the Did end. Did it? As well. yeah, yeah, I never really watched the, the Scrubs, last season's so. absolutely putrid. You might as well not even bother. Uh, so you're yeah. happy with Seventy Show there? Absolute classic. Yeah, I'm, I'll probably put this next one in ahead of that, but that's just me. Because mm. I don't think I could allow that. But <laughs> so you think Brooklyn Nine Nine's up in S? Definitely. Oh, it is to me probably like I know it's a bit of recency bias, and Friends was obviously we used to watch Friends stacked for when sure, we were younger. For sure. But if I if you chose to tell me Friends or Brooklyn Nine Nine just to watch one episode right now, Brooklyn Nine Nine for, for sure. sure. Yeah, one okay, one so. of the one of the all time greats, Andy Samberg, Terry Crews. That's it. And you know what? I I've I've seen a bit of Brooklyn Nine Nine too, and I I like it. I Brooklyn mm. Nine Nine, 
It is very good. It's very hilarious. He is great. Andy Samberg number no, like he's so he's very good. Yeah. Just um, I don't know what you mean. It's kind of, these kind of shows they're like they're almost like a modern day Friends kind of like yeah. you know not not storyline wise but very much down the same line. You know you got your five main characters. You got the offshooters that keep coming. Yeah. in. It's very uh, my sort of uh, my sort of comedy as well. Some of the, like some of the comedy in there, it's like it, it reminds me of the BWF days. Very very similar to the stuff we used to roll back in. Uh... Really, <laughs> yeah, there's one scene. Just remember, real, uh... I remember the Glenos uh, off topic. The, uh, the Glenos like he's, he's dressed up as the um, the Million Dollar uh, Man, the Million Dollar Man, but he's the um, Spanish Million Dollar Man. Ah, uh, yeah, and he's yeah, on the okay. ground. He goes, no. Yeah, that's <laughs> there, there's the exact same. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's with, got very um, but there's, there's like the exact same thing where um. You know, you know uh, Scully from yeah, Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does like the exact same thing. It's, it's like exactly the same. <laughs> but we did it at BWF yeah, yeah, 15 years ago. Love it. Yeah, I, I know. So yeah, what do you call that comedy? It's not like- Bit of slapstick. Is that what it's called? Yeah, surreal, just like easy humor. Easy, just yeah. Easy to get the lols and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm happy for it there. I couldn't put it in front of 70s show, but- you know, people might come up, <coughs> but we're happy with it there. Yeah, I'm deaf. Oh, I think I put it in front of that seventy. This is you... a hard. Uh, this is a hard list. So anything on S is going to be doing pretty damn well. That's, for sure, for sure. That's one that's there forever. Now, this is going to be controversial here. Seinfeld. I never really watched it. Well, I have watched a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. And it's still. It's very funny. You, I see. To me, it's still like it's controversial. People are going to come after me, but I still don't think it's that good. You don't like it. It's not that I don't like it. I just think, and people always say there's big fans will always say. Friends or Seinfeld, you know, a lot of them yeah. go down which path or whatever. But people always, oh, you don't understand Seinfeld, or you don't, you know, you don't get it, or something like that. Like, there's always some back thing. But I've watched them all. They go, go watch that episode about the, 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 the you know, and all the. And I've, I've watched them. I don't mind it. It's a good easy watch. But like, I'd be turning it off after one or two. Oh, no, yeah, um, okay. That's... I don't know. They're, they're, it's all a bit too much. And then you got your Kramer character who's like very over the top and yeah, fake. Great. And you know, if you're gonna try to do a Joey Tribbiani rip off. <laughs> I'm sure that's so they, were done, was, they were made before. They were made yeah. before, yeah. So. But quite no, quite a good show. I completely disagree with what you've said there. Mm. Very, very funny. Okay, so what, uh, so you want to put it on the A tier? I'd be putting it on the A tier for right. sure. I, I don't think I could allow it to get off the S. I know people are going to be coming after. No, it can't that, go S. We, I feel like three is max on S. Moving yeah, forward yeah, in, might this, be. in this segment, it, it might. You can't because that then just oversaturates it. No, nah, no, nah, fair enough, fair enough. All right, well, um, let's have a look here. So, uh, we got new girl. <laughs> New Girl is an absolute classic. classic. I love, I love New Girl. See, that's the show I could, you know, I turn Seinfeld just, off and watch New we Girl. We just started film. rewatching New Girl, really, and uh, it's just yeah, great. underrated. Schmidt is the one is one of the funniest characters on TV. Yeah, uh, you're, you're happy with Schmidt? Yeah, oh, he's great. He's it? hilarious, um, and the whole thing just works. They're well. all good, aren't they? They're all does die good. off again. The last season does it's it rough. I don't think yeah. I ever got up to the last. Yep. Mm-hmm. So what happens in it? Just yeah, you know, they. I think it's the last season. It might be the last episode. That's what I'm thinking about. Um, gets a bit, yeah, a bit tough in the end. They kind of like, you know, go go into the future six, five, six. Oh, do they? Five, yeah, they start things. to ruin it. That yeah, way. so, but I I put it in front of Big Bang for me. All right, I like it. So it goes in front of Big Bang, and I yeah. would agree with that too. It's very good, very good. Yes, yeah, so it's 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 yeah, it is very good, very good watch, and uh, almost yeah, you, you'd want to put it up in the S, but you you, you know, you, it can't hold up with the these ones here. Nah, no, nah, no, nah, that's very good. Uh, girls. Never, two, or two girls, whatever it's called. Never really watched it. Yeah. Nah, chuck it in D. I didn't really watch that. I, I've seen a couple of episodes, but that's right. Well, we won't we won't yeah. rate it too much. I feel like if you start throwing ones up, we don't know. Like <laughs> even Thirty Rock, I think's copped a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a bump to you. Nah, I've, there, I've, I've seen it. So yeah, that's true. What's uh, that there? One, not too sure what this is. Let's zoom in here. Is that um? What is this? Yeah, no, nah, I don't. Wouldn't even bother. Yeah, okay. People, are, yeah, well, you guys let us know what that one is, but we're not. We're not gonna. We just won't even go over there. Uh, this one. Like Grey's Anatomy or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I can't see. I'm not sure. Uh, if we don't know, is it, that Scrubs? Nah, Scrubs is over there. Nah, Scrubs is over there. Okay, let's so put it there. We can't there. see what it is. Uh, yeah, family yeah. Guy. Here we Classic. go. Classic. So Family Guy, very good. Yeah. So it's. I think it's better than South Park as an animation. For so sure, for sure, easily. And ahead that's of that. exactly right. So I think South Park's. Um. Yep. So Family Guy, very good. I would almost put it probably behind the Office there. Yeah. Behind the office, okay, yeah. Or maybe in front. What do you think? What would you? Uh, it's a very, it's a, it is a classic. It's a hilarious. Maybe even in front. Yeah, I, I think. Just well, for me, it's it just, might look better. Yeah, like it's that. just easy. Yeah, it's just an easy, easy uh, watch. Very funny and very like uh, ahead of its time, as in mm-hmm. like um, 
the humor, dark, like very yeah. dark humor. You know, some of the stuff they did. Yeah, <laughs> like um, just some of those moments, like, like the um, chicken, chicken. Some, yeah, yeah, the chicken, and the, <laughs> just and there's always that meme goes around that like, how did um, Family Guy get away with this? That's the in the um in the Olympics where all the Olympics people <laughs> come out, and then the other uh, Paralympics, and then the um, <laughs> and then the other one they're in bed, and yeah, it's a, they're very uh, it's a it's, it's dark humor and it's, it's risky, risky, but it's got yeah. away with it, and it's still I think it still pumps to this day. Yeah, so very good show for cancel culture. That's for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Could you throw it on the end of A, or is that getting a bit too? No, I I would. I love it. All right, let's get it up there. I think I think that's nice there. Very good. This is starting to good look good. This list. Uh, American Dad never really uh, saw much of it. What do you? I've want? I've seen a bit, and I'd chuck it just chuck it in the back end of C. Yeah, I it think is that's quite. Good. It's still quite funny, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not, down the same line. It's like a uh, half assed Family Guy, but it's, it's, a, no it's all by the same people. It's and no stuff, Family isn't it? Guy. Yeah. So, so um, well, did you ever see the uh, Family Guy? Stuff? <laughs> no, I'm sure, What's it's funny though, but. Uh, we, we'll put it down here because we haven't really watched it, but I'm sure it's funny because the um, mm. yeah they they don't miss old Seth. Uh, what's his name? Uh, I want to get his name. Cleveland. No, the the guy who writes them Seth all. McFarlane. McFarlane. There yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah he, he doesn't miss that bloke. So Ted, you know your movie Ted. Yeah, it's, oh, one of the best. So, so good. He, he's very. His humor is very, his humor's out, very good. Uh, what's that? Is Ted three coming out? Or is it? Yeah, nah, I, would, no, I wouldn't be surprised. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, so we got Future Armor. Yeah, back oh. in our day, we used to watch that. I reckon. Back yeah, I'd chuck like, it in front of American Dad. But yeah, so yeah, it was just an easy watch. Uh, yeah. Kind of, kind of, yeah, around that. You know, right, very much around that Malcolm in the Middle easy mm. watch. You know, after school, before school. Um, but going back and watching them, don't know if you'd really put in the hours mm, for sure, for sure. Now you tell us about Scrubs because I know you so loved, good. and uh, our older brother. Kale oh. loves Scrubs. I always kind of watch it and go, mm, doesn't really do much yeah. for me. But I probably didn't understand the uh, the whole yeah. deal with it. So you tell very, me. Very, very funny. Uh, I can't remember. Um, who is the that actor, that, the, the main, do you remember his name? Anyway, um, he's quite, quite. I know, uh, yeah, I know which one you're talking he's about. He's quite the main character, quite funny. Um, very, 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 very good. They had the, obviously based in a, based in a hospital um, and, they they're coming in as like the the fresh the interns, uh they they're the first year they've got the old the old doctor who kind of just like berates him and he he hates uh he hates the main character and it's quite it's just very funny very very funny very so happy I'm, with it yeah good good watch and um okay, I'd be so. I'd be putting the back end of or for me oh it's tough. Uh, back end of A you thinking or no I, it is quite good but maybe. Just after the office. Oh, but maybe in front of the office. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So that's the, yeah, I, I, I don't really have much of an opinion about that. So I'll be happy with that, though. Yeah. You know, not knowing much about it. So, because it's a hard list. When you get up yeah, the A, the getting, a, a is a very good watch up there. Yeah, very good. Very uh, good. Here we go. Oh, The Simpsons. Classic. I used to love old The Simpsons. School. Yeah. So what do we think about The Simpsons? Uh, always, always, yeah, and probably one of the most, probably the most known, like, cartoon of oh, all yeah. time, eh? So yeah. They're still going? Still goes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I haven't heard any reports that it stopped. So um, very, you, you could you could slide, slide that on the A list quite yeah, easily for sure. I, I'd you'd almost have to put it in front of uh, New Girl, wouldn't you? Or The Simpsons. Mm, the, the hard thing with The Simpsons is it's not that watchable now nah. for people our age. You nah. know what I mean? Like when you're a kid and stuff, it's great. The humor is like yeah. kind of kid humor. It, it, there's not that much adult humor to it. I don't think. Maybe a little bit here and mm. there, but it's like you'd much rather watch Family Guy these days because it's oh, adult yeah. humor. Where now the Simpsons, it's very, very easy. Very, you know, there's not yeah. much. I haven't, seen, I haven't watched a new episode of Simpsons for years, uh, but did watch a lot back mm, when we were younger. This is going to be this so. is going to be a tough one. This, so that's the thing. Where do you put this? Do you do you put it if you put it behind Family Guy? Is that too much? You put it in front of Family Guy just for its uh, for its pop culture. Mm, I reckon like that that that, that looks pretty good. Me, I think yeah. that's pretty good too. I think if you, you know, had to ask me right now though, what to watch Simpsons or Family Guy? Just one episode, easily Family Guy. Hundred percent. So maybe. Do we just tweak it? Yeah. Do we just do it? Whether we, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that too because it's it's like how, how how does it hold up, you know what I mean? And in today's society, people want to hear a bit of, you know, a bit of, you know, brutalness. Yeah, Everyone's for sure. These days, so it's bit good of, to see that people gags. still- Yeah, that's it. So, okay, let's let's hit it with that. I think people will be happy with that. We'll see what- <clears throat> leave, leave a comment. Fresh Prince, um, never really watched oh, yeah. it. I love the song- but besides that, you know, you know, it was a bit old school for us. It probably a bit before our time, was it? Oh or? yeah, I've watched it. I've watched it a couple of times through. Mm -hmm. Very funny. Yeah, very, very funny. Uh, who's calling? There goes his calling. phone. Uh, I might have to answer it. I've got to call <laughs> live on the pod. Lazy. Yeah, good. You're live on the pod. We're just uh, recording the pod. <laughs> What's happening there? Yo, do you want me to call you back? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We killed it. <laughs> All right, no worries. I'll call you back. Bye. See ya. <laughs> All right, That's there's all good stuff. Asking about the weekend. <laughs> weekend Warriors. She could have just tuned in. Don't yeah, have to. She, the Weekend Warriors. Just tell her you should have said tune into the episode when it's live later that's tonight. So, um, but Fresh Prince, quite funny. I'd be chucking that on the B tier in front of um, Everyone Loves Raymond for sure. In front of Everyone Loves Raymond, okay. It, it is. If you, you go back and watch, like Will Smith is very funny in it. All right, yeah, I've got yeah. a really opinion on it. Um, you know, he slaps people and that sort of stuff. But is it so in front of Raymond? You reckon? Yeah, I, I quite enjoy it. Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, we're happy with that. We're happy with that. So um, you're riding high, hard for that. I like it. Glee. No, I've never. I didn't watch Glee, so you might have to. I don't have much. I've, I've seen it, like a few of the movies and stuff like that, maybe here and there, but like, um, nah, nothing. I don't have any thoughts, big or small, on the Glee. So okay. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be okay. trying to. Okay. I know there's a lot of Glee heads out there though, so you wouldn't want to put it somewhere too low and really disrespect them without watching it. So for sure, for um, sure. Whatever this one is, is this Bob's Burgers or something like that? I've never really watched that. <laughs> Bobby, yeah. B- Bobby, yeah. What is it called? Is no, it, not King of the Hill. When, nah. uh, is it Bob's Burgers? I think it is. Yeah, it is oh, Bob's yeah, Burgers, but n- not really seen that one. So we'll scrap that. How I Met Your Mother. <laughs> so oh, you're good. telling me that we can't have another S tier, but that's it's so good. I, it is so good. I think we're going to have to make an exception for another S. I think we're going to have to. You're going to have Chuck How I Met Your Mother. I really enjoy How I Met Your Mother. I love How I Met Your Mother. easy watch. Yeah. And once again, you know, I feel like the, the the really good shows have a standout character. Obviously, Friends, you, you got your whole your whole, uh, your whole whole lot, but uh, Barney Stenson carries that. Barney Stenson, Absolute, you reckon? Yeah, he carries absolutely it. Absolutely carries sure. the show, and it is hilarious. But so, yeah, I agree with that, but still that... Ted Marshall, they're very. It's 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 a very all star cast. With it is, it is, and Robert and that they're like it is. A, there's a big, it's a big collab. If it's kind of like Friends, I feel it's. All right, I'm happy to put it on the S tier. I think behind we're have Brooklyn Nine. You think behind has to be yeah. Really, see if you you would actually say like looking back once you look back in a few years you'd say Brooklyn Nine Nine was still a better show than yeah. I mean, okay, okay. I'd have Brooklyn Nine Nine in front of that seventies. Yeah, okay, well... Me. But I'm happy to leave that. Leave I it like really that like because it. I would say that How I Met Your Mother should be uh, should be like that. Yeah, but okay. for, you know, let's let's play it safe. If you like that, I like this. Mm. We'll, we'll keep it like that. So that's pretty damn good so far. Um, I like this, the list we've got here. It, I like it's the list that's coming together. hitting quite well. Trailer Park Boys, never really saw it, yeah, you? In it, nah. So we apologise for the ones that people are getting leaving out here. It's just we're only going from what we know. Not sure what that is. See you later. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Full, Full house. house was a classic back in its day, but don't know if I could really talk about it with this much. I no. can't even remember it that no. well. Uh, it wasn't something I'd wrap my arms around, no. so trash so it. King of the oh, Hill. Man. I see, I personally don't like King of the Hill, so I, I, I can at least say I've watched enough of it to know that I don't really like mm. it. So you can put that in the trash. If you I'm going to put it in trash. People are going to come for me, but no, I know something be, needs to be in the out trash. Of all, like, out of all those other... Um, Animations, yeah, King of the yeah. Hill. Uh, this the worst. bloke, not sure who he is, so I'll put him down. Who else have we got here? Corner Gas, never nah, seen no. it. We'll just go the, rest, the, the rest of them I don't really know. Everyone hates Chris uh, about Chris uh, Rock. I don't haven't really, really watched that either. No, I haven't seen that. Drake and Nana, uh, it's like an old Disney thing, I think. Rick and Morty, never really seen it. People love Rick and Morty. Do they I, love I, it? I, they love it. They, they, it's like a new. It's essentially a new Family Guy. Just people absolutely froth it. Oh, is it new? Is it new? I'm newish. I'm pretty yeah, sure, okay. but um, I don't have enough opinion on it to be able to, and I wouldn't trash it because so I nah. wouldn't have an opinion on it. We'll keep that there. Cheers, old school, but never really watched it. Remember Cheers? That yeah, yeah. I've, I haven't watched enough episodes. Uh, there Didn't we hold me attention, so that's probably nah, why. That's it. Uh, we got uh, this one here. Is um, oh, that's uh, Modern Family. Yeah, you very like- funny. Is it? Okay, yeah, yeah, give yeah, me yeah. your opinion. Give me your thoughts. On I that like thing. Modern Family. Um, but then, geez, even the B grade list is quite strong. So you'd have to put Modern Family. <laughs> I could have it in front of Raymond, to be honest. In front of Raymond, yeah. you like it? Yeah. Yeah, because I, you know what, I haven't seen much of it, but what I have, it is funny. It, it's quite good. It is quite good. So that's a that's a nice, and probably a lot of series, easy watch. That's mm. what kind of what we're looking for. Probably even like a modern day um, Raymond when you think about it, like with the family, all to do yeah, with the family and stuff for sure. like that. So I'm happy to throw that there. Uh, we got not sure, not sure, not sure, girls. No, no, yeah, no. Okay, we've it. been through this. So we we're gonna we're oh, gonna pull it. At that's that. the list. Look at the list. Give there. us a screenshot. That is, or maybe wait, maybe we should chat about it before we screenshot. Oh, hang on. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was almost going to. Uh, <laughs> let me just screenshot it in case. I'll, I'll screenshot it again if we. Yeah, nice. So there nice. we go. Let's run through what we got. Friends, S tier. 
That 70s show, Brooklyn Nine-Nine and How I Met Your Mother. Um, That's just the solid, solid. Of, out of all the lists we've done so far the last four weeks, this is the most confident I've been in a list. Yep, so you're happy with that. So Friends, number one, we love that. It's an absolute true staple. Uh, you, I really like 70s show. You really like Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Yeah. And, and How I Met Your Mother is just all-round comedy gold. All-round comedy gold, for sure. And then we go to the, new, uh, the ones that almost made it into S, but you just couldn't put too many up there. So ones like New Girl. Um, I don't have that many opinions. Like, if it was my list, I'd probably move Big Back Bang into the trash <laughs> down here, but we won't do that because I know it's a. Uh, I, I do respect what it they've is done. Quite you good. love it. Very good. It's just uh, whatever kind of comedy you like. Um, Seinfeld, I probably would have put. <laughs> I don't want to say too much about Seinfeld because I know I'll get it in the comments, but that would definitely be, if there was a list lower than trash, it'd be in that. Mm, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but no, nah, we like time. It, it, it is an easy watch, and um, you know, it, it was it, it's kind of before its time, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's it, very, it was, it's very old. There's a lot of uh, you know, when you watch it now, it's kind of hard to relate because there's a lot of like it is. Yeah, kind of like the, yeah, it's you know what I feel. This is what it reminds me. Their latest seasons remind me of the first season of Friends. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's it's that comedy, and it's also a little bit hard to watch. But you push through. You push That's through. That's just personally. But Family Guy, there he is a tier classic show. So the top comedy for us as a animation, top I comedy, know. and then you got your classic Simpsons next to it, which mm. obviously these days when you get older, a bit harder to watch. Um, but you know, still respect what they've done. Uh, and the fact that they're still going shows how big they are. Monster yeah. shows. Uh, well, you got Scrubs. You love your Scrubs, don't you? I love Scrubs. It's just quite a very funny. Uh, how uh, holds up all the way through until the last season. Yep. Okay. Um, and then the same with um. Then you got The Office. American the Office. Office. I, I haven't watched it all, but what I have watched. Same. Hilarious. Same. I'm with that too. It's a it's a very funny show. Uh, great characters. People love it. We got Two and a Half Men, which is a classic. When that started banging off. People love Two and a Half Men. It was everywhere. It was. And that's when he ended up being like one of the most highest paid um, TV That's true. Uh, it Charlie. was. Yeah, you forget about how, he was a great how big it was. It was a monster And he was show. just playing himself, which is the funny thing. Playing part himself. Then he, that's when he went off. That's when he started going off the rails yeah. and doing all over him. So <laughs> Charlie Sheen, good man. Fresh Prince. Um, you were riding hard for Fresh Prince. I didn't know much about it, but you went. You rode hard. Uh, Fresh Prince, very good. Will Smith, funny. Uh, so he had a glitch. He had the glitch. <laughs> it's how he's had the Matrix glitch. I glitched on Matrix. Uh, <laughs> so then we got the uh, Modern Family there. Great, easy. I'll watch that show. Just yeah. like Raymond, um, probably even a newer version of Raymond with the family, uh, you know, family gags and stuff like that. So Raymond uh, right next to that as a uh, all-time classic as well. Same with South Park. Original comedy still mm. holds up. You know, great, uh, what's the word, lewd humour. Uh, that go as far as they want to, you know what I mean? They're not worried about getting cancelled and all the things that all these people are worried about these days. They're just doing the comedy, making people laugh. If you don't like it, if it's too much for you, don't watch it. It's not that hard, is it? For sure, for sure. <laughs> and then I we got C-List. What do we got? Malcolm in the Middle, an old classic. Same with Futurama where you'd kind of be like, you know what, at the end of a school day, sit down and have a bit of a laugh. But, you know, there's not. it's not doing heaps for us, is it? Nah. Guys? But they're, they're definitely watchable. Uh, and you said the same about American Dad, which I didn't really seen much about but you know with the same i think it's the same people as uh family guys so it's gotta it's gotta have a few lols in there and for sure we, and then d d list we got 30 rock i didn't know much about that but you were happy enough to say it's out it's, of all the ones because you can see the c list you can see the b list it doesn't that, deserve to it doesn't there. nah it's an and easy then, d. yeah and then we put <laughs> king of the hill personally <laughs> you, you didn't say much about king of the hill what are your thoughts on king of the hill i remember watching it back in the day and oh, it, it wasn't doing it for me hank and it. bobby and it was it wasn't very the, hank the, and bobby yeah i didn't like the comedy i didn't like the animations it wasn't really much for me nah. but i know people will go over that but our uh, trash is trash put yeah, that there that's sure. the list we've screenshotted it sign off on it boom boom that's the list for this monday's weekend warriors see you later catch you next time <laughs> all right that was good good little wrap there for the uh for the tier list i don't yep. know were you catching next time was that just like a no, wrap i was just joking segment? yeah i was yeah. just about to wrap the whole show I was just <laughs> shit so <laughs> i'm not going i'm not sure what's going on with i can't even see the list i've just seen your face now on the on the zoom so oh, okay cool yeah, that's but- uh we're done with that so quite quite happy with that list and i, I feel that was the most comfortable i've been with the list the, the whole time so happy to Happy to get that up on the socials, on your Instagrams. Uh, and as, as we want to talk about, be sure to follow us on your, on your Instagrams, your, your TikToks, your YouTubes. Uh, just ha- like the videos. It just helps us go a little bit further in where we're trying to get, you know, get a bit more, bring a bit more audience to the, to the Polar Opposites pod. Mm, love it, love it. Sure. So what do, you, what do you want to get into now, Folds? We've got a, got a few things we want to, Have you thought about, and we do this every week, your your poster that's obviously already behind you right now um but 
have you thought about your poster and what you're kind of kind of looking for? Haven't really, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I'm just uh, having a look here. I'm hoping that that actually has saved. <laughs> We've got some dramas over here, uh, so you might have to just. Uh, just keep talking with the crew while I try to work out this. Uh, yeah, well, I might do here. a bit of a sports recap for everyone uh, at home now. I've got a few things. A few of the boys aren't happy with my sports recap. There's not enough info. Um, they want they want me sacked, to be honest. A few of the boys are saying they're not happy with the, the sports recap. And so I've got to bring my A game today. So to start off, I think uh, we'll go with the NHL. As I said, I was watching it yesterday. I watched the first two periods and I... I was thinking to myself, I'm, I'm, this is work, you know, because I'm I'm researching for the Polar Opposite pod um, and my team and, and your team as well, the Golden Knights, were, were down 0-1 in the uh, first period and they end up scoring a goal late in the first period to make it 1-1, which was quite nice. Um, and then they did score the first of the second period, the Knights, to get them up 2-1. And then the, uh, the Panthers... The Florida Panthers uh, scored back to make it 2-2 at the end of the second period. That's when I had to leave and f- found out just a couple of hours later that the Vegas Knights got the got the Chockeys 5-2. So great win. Uh, stars of the game, if you if you want to know, Zed Whitecloud with one goal, M Stone with one goal, and A Hill who is the goalie, had 33 saves, which is which is quite good for a goalie. Uh, so that's your NHL recap. And we've got some basketball news that just finished today. Crazy upset. Because remember I was talking about the basketball on Friday, how the Heat got absolutely pants in the first game. They've come back and they've won the first... Oh, sorry, they've come back and won the second game of the series in Denver, which is crazy. So they've won at 111 to 108. This could be the first thing you see about the basketball. Uh, the others, as they call them, were unbelievable. We had uh, Gary Vincent. Is it Gary? Better make sure it's the right. Uh, Gabe. Oh, boy. They're going to come for me. Gabe Vincent had 23 points. Bam Adebayo had 21. Jimmy Butler, 21. Struess, 14. Kevin Love, 6. D. Robinson, 10 points for the Miami Heat. And the Denver, they were quite good as well. Uh the Joker had 41 points. If you're listening over there, Folds, you haven't heard a peep from you for the last four minutes. I'm carrying this podcast. Uh, <laughs> he's glitching over there. He's not even listening. And then we had Michael Porter Jr. had a, a, a measly five points. Jamal Murray had 18. But it was the Miami Heat tape, taking it by three points in quite a good game at the end. They were up about 10 to 12 points with the last four minutes of the game. And the Denver came back, made it close. Jamal Murray had a shot in the last second to tie the game 111 apiece, rimmed it out, and then the Miami take a 1-1-1-1 one, 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 even series uh, moving back to Miami for the next two games. So that's your basketball recap. Did you watch any AFL on the weekend, Folzy? No, no, no. Sorry, we're just looking at this screen in the other thing. We've lost our screen recording, which is going to hurt the boys, I reckon, but we'll see. I can still boys. see it on my end. Can you? You, yeah. you can see my screen? Yeah. No, that's right. It's the recording I think might have cost us, but we'll uh, oh, okay. We'll see what the other guy can do. He might be able to uh, round up some, um, you know, go into the hard drive and find it, but we'll mm, see how he sure. goes. That's easy. So what's, um, um, what's, what else have we got? That was a nice recap. Uh, we liked that. So you didn't have to call in your resident uh, music man. I mean, you'd be a sports man today. <laughs> Nah, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, nah, so Hoochie didn't, uh, I mean, uh, Crowley didn't need the uh, didn't need to call up because I've been watching the NHL. I've listened to the fans. I've listened to the audience. Where is I'll, Hoochie? I thought he'd be calling in today with well, some music news well, or something I haven't heard like any that. music news. Any music news on your end? No, I gave up. I thought Hoochie was calling in with it. So uh, no, no music news here, but Hoochie, where are you, mate? We want to hear your voice. But uh, that's okay. Did you watch any AFL on the weekend, Folzy? Or are you nah, not nah, a big nah, AFL busy man? Weekend. So I uh, where was it on? Was it on anywhere? Nah, nah, nah. I didn't see a glimpse of it actually. Yeah, so I know the uh, my team, the Bombers, had a win uh, in the last kind of uh couple of minutes, just got over the line against North Melbourne, which was quite a good mm, game. Yep. I know the Tigers got up yesterday, another good game against GWS. Um and then there was a few others. Geelong beat Bulldogs, Melbourne beat whoever they beat on Friday night. Um, so, yeah, it was quite good. I've probably got to get a bit more 
a bit more into the the AFL as we move on with the podcast and as it moves into the more you know sp- spiky end of the season, the more interesting part. Mm, we're yeah, halfway people, through the people year. People want to hear about the footy. I yeah, think. we're halfway through the year in the AFL, so I'm going to really start paying attention. We've only got potentially five more games left of the basketball, and then it's all going to be AFL um, and AFL bit of cricket. The Ashes are starting soon, so I'll be making sure I'll be watching that, staying up late. And yeah, that's just your sports recap, which was quite good, I think. Very this, nice. That's right. Well, why don't, we, uh, why don't we go on to our um, top five? I've got a good top five, I reckon. You got a top five for me today? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my top five. Yeah, I've got a good one here too. I'm just trying to, I have done a bit of research to make sure I don't get anything wrong. You know, like, like <laughs> people are coming after us on TikTok. because the they, top five, they, they, I think it's it's not that we res- we're researching it wrong. It's that we're not maybe not telling exactly mm. what the actual countdown is. You know, mm. last week was there with the AFL premierships and they thought, you know, what is happy. VFL added into it and stuff like that. So um, this one I think I've got is a pretty good list and I think I should be able to pretty much – and I've gone through a few different uh, publications that say the same thing. So I think uh, this is going to be good with this one. I don't think they'll be too unhappy on the TikTok. So we'll see like how they that. go. I like that. So do you want to start or want me to ask your questions? How do you want to – I'll start actually on this one. So my top five, let's roll the thing. Top five, throw it up. <laughs> we got the top five over the top. So this one's going to be top five highest overall career earnings of an NBA player. Okay. Nice, so, nice. Um, and from all reports, what I'm reading and what I'm looking up is what they've earned from basketball, not, not you know, sponsorships and yeah, stuff okay, like that. Yeah, so, you know, like what salary. Salary. So, yeah. Um, yeah, what they've earned. And, and the publication I'm reading off here is March 7th. 2023 so okay. we're all up to date so, yep nice um, nice i like that and and it, and it is uh, all getting updated because i had one guy that i thought was in the top five then i looked and that was earlier this year and it looks like it might have been taken over so out. we're all uh we're all above board here looking okay. good so okay okay top five highest paid nba players of all time just from yep. salaries yep, yep all right so let me start with uh lebron yep so lebron Number so one. in american dollars uh 200 and let me just quickly get this up. Uh, 431 million. So that's <laughs> just playing, on. just playing. Jeepers, that's nice. Uh, that is nice. Earnings in mills. Yeah. So this is earnings. Was he number in one? Million US dollars. Uh, he is number one. Yes. Yep, yep. All right. Okay. Okay. I'd have to go to Kevin Durant. So Kevin Durant is number three. Very good for with 349. He's number three. Million. Yep. So there's someone in there. At number two. Okay. Uh, I'm going to head the similar path to Kevin Durant. They entered the league at the same time. Should I go with that? Did he get a max? Can't remember. James Harden. James Harden, no. He is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Eight. At 301. Uh, All right. So that's a strike. So maybe can I go with uh, Chris Paul? Chris Paul, very good. Number two at 359. Chris Paul, so you've got LeBron one, Chris Paul two, Kevin Durant three, okay. and then you've got four and five to get, and you've had one buzz out. You're doing well. Keep that flowing. Kobe Bean? Kobe Bryant? Yeah. RIP to the GOAT. Oh, we love Kobe. He's out of the list. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, Kobe. Oh, you're kidding. So are they, can I get a hint? Because obviously Kobe, I've only three, got one more two, strike. Three. Just, uh, are they still both, these both still playing? Or? Uh, can I give you one? That's I'll give you number six. Does that help you? I'll give you number six so you don't get that one. Does that work for you or no? I, I reckon if you, can you just tell me, if they, are they still playing or are they, or uh, they not? Oh, sorry, Kobe's six. Yeah. yeah. No, sorry. Uh, so uh, let me have a – yeah, okay. You know my basketball knowledge is not that good. Let me have a quick look here. Um, so, yeah, you got you keep thinking there. Yeah, I've got, and I'll, I've um, got one I'll in the holster. Uh, I can see your screen. Let me just get off that. So. <laughs> You've seen that, have you? Now let me. Uh, I'll leave the meeting so I can't see it. That's all right. You keep. Uh, I'll do it on my phone. Doesn't. Um. Yeah. So I'm just trying to think about what what players. Obviously, the the new players have earned the most because it's just just kind of how it's worked. And um, either the new players or they've, they've played. You know, your 20, 21 years. They got a max deal, so they've got to be a stop a top quality star player. Um. There's a few I'm thinking of, but if you wonder if they're still playing. Because you get you get more money if you sign a max at your home team where you got drafted to, but then you obviously you've got to play a fair few playing career. 
this one here we go number number th- number four or five. Oh, who yeah i know you actually say i've looked up <laughs> he's looked up the wrong guy oh goodness me i looked up uh, number three again <laughs> <laughs> i looked up duran again <laughs> uh yeah i'm just trying to think about who's Who's kind of had so a, one of them definitely uh, doesn't play. I know that for sure. Doesn't. No. Nah. One of them definitely doesn't play. Uh, okay. Okay. Doesn't play. And made a lot of cash. You tell me. Yep. Fifth. Fifth doesn't play. Fourth. I reckon does, but I'm just going to get a, a fact check on it. So we don't get. For sure. For sure. For sure. Get your fact checks. I'm still thinking. Doesn't play for sure. So he must have had a big career from about 2000 to... I reckon this guy's going to definitely play. 2018. I just, I just don't know much about him. Who are we talking? Who are we talking? Who got a super match? Okay, the number four still plays. Five doesn't. Okay. I might have to... I'm going to go just a wild style. I think it's a bad guess, but... Giannis? No, nah. not even in the and, top. Yeah, probably wasn't my best guess. There. So how can I assist you on... Uh... Well, that's my three strikes. I'm out. Oh, okay, so, you're out. You're yeah, okay. you might as well you happy, me, to, yeah. you're happy yeah. to fold on that. One well, of them plays for, looks like, Lakers? The, uh, <laughs> the Lakers? Oh, is Shaq. It, is it still Lakers? Hang on. <laughs> oh, no, okay. Here we go. Let's roll down the list. LeBron, one. Chris yep. Paul, two. Kevin Durant, three. three. Had those three. Westbrook, oh, Westbrook four. Yeah, he's... And five would be... The old school Celtics, maybe. Oh, Garnett. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say Garnett. Garnett. So, <sighs> no, not too bad. That was a bit of a hard one. That was today. good. I gave you a good, good one. That's a good. That was quite good. I really enjoyed that. You happy with that? Yeah. And, didn't uh, get the chockies. Didn't go my way, but I think from all reports, that's where I wanted to be on that one. So, um, yeah, no, that's quite good. Quite good. Um, yeah. So, do you want to? You got one for me? Over yeah. There? So it's a bit of a, um. This is top five. Who are the most? Sorry, who are the top five most sellingest bands of all time? Most sellingest bands. Yeah. So, or, be, or best selling, best uh, of all time. So, like highest selling bands. Yep. Yep. So this is just like strictly time. records sold worldwide. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that could be a hard one. Bands. So definitely bands. So not like your Taylor Swift or nah, Harry Styles. Bands. Bands. Yep. bands. Band. Who's earned the most kind of money? Uh, uh, well, it doesn't album necessarily be album money, sales. Yeah, so not merch, not all that. Probably just album sales. You're just saying strictly uh, records sold worldwide. All right. Well, I'm going to close this lappy, even though I know that I'm not going to get it. <laughs> it's a hard one. This one um, definitely gettable. All right. Um, I might say Queen. I'll go. Tick, number three. Number three. Okay. With 150 million records worldwide. Beautiful. Queen, queen, queen. We got that one. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go the Beatles. Bang, number one by an absolute landslide. 290 million records love it, love worldwide. It, love it. Okay. So have a think about these next ones. Definitely gettable, but Led Zeppelin. Boom, number four. Oh, okay, I thought that would have been 140 three, so million records okay, worldwide. So, so you've got one... Three and four. Here we go. So two left, three buzzers. Good. You, you'll know both these, um, but yeah, it, that'll be they'll, they'll be they will be tough. That's yeah, it will be a bit tougher. These two. Okay, who? Yeah, big big dogs. Big. Who are the big dogs back in the back mm. in the day? It's the back um, in the days. What this is one? This is the back in the days one. Yeah. So they are back in the days. There's no no the killers or anything like that aren't coming in and sweeping. Just a, just a little friendly ones. You weren't going to guess this, but. Maroon 5. Oh, they're up there. It's, yeah, they're seven. Makes sense. Yeah, gonna, I won't give you any more tips. Some absolute, but, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I wouldn't have gone them, but they, they do make some hits and they yeah. uh, every song they do with Dutch Go turns to gold. That So that makes sense. Maroon 5. Let's go. Okay, so we've got two left. Let's, let's start really honing in here. Um, all time. ACDC. <sighs> So close. Sixth, are they? Sixth. Shit. 125 million. ACDC almost in there. So that's a big brand. Let's go. Guns N' Roses. No, oh, didn't mm. even make the top 10. Okay. Guns N' Roses. That's two buzzers. Okay. Um, mm, that could be tough. Did you want to give me a uh, 
an 80s or 90s era? Is that worth? Uh, I'd almost, I'd even almost say 70s. 70s, 80s. Super let me old check, school. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. That's cool. It's cool. Uh, for both. Well, I definitely know. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's uh, cool. Uh, who I'll give you a run. I know. I forget. Oh, I can see Rolling Stones. You should, have, you should have just let me give you a couple of hints. No, that's incorrect. They are tenth. Really? Yeah. So the answer was. Do you want to have another quick crack? Uh, if you give me a yeah, give me a, a year just to for a last minute ditch effort. But I think inducted that- into the Hall of Fame in nineteen ninety eight, and looks like they started in nineteen seventy one. Oh, who the <laughs> and seventy uh, one. <laughs> Oh, the Eagles in there. Okay, Eagles second. People love the Eagles. Really? 160 mil? Man, Eagles. I didn't even... Yeah, I don't know much about the Eagles, to be honest. Never really got into the uh, the boys. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, and then uh, this... Uh, a rock band f- inducted into the Hall of Fame in... Not sure, but they they uh, formed in London in 1965. The Who? Not The Who. <laughs> uh, they got some got some real good songs. Do they? Oh, this one. <laughs> oh, the uh, yeah, Pink Floyd. Yeah, oh, Pink geez, Floyd. Had some coin too. Yeah, don't know too much. One hundred thirty about million Floyd. worldwide. Okay, that, that was a good one though. That, that was gettable. But I guess <laughs> my my research isn't up to scratch. Sometimes those old, super old bands, I really get a bit lost on. You know, yeah. I, I wouldn't really go back and listen to Pink Floyd or anything like that. That was an old one, but. But that was a good one. Good one. A tough one. All right. That's a couple of tough one for the couple of tough top fives. Uh, Super, uh, super tough. But we've got we've we tried our best. We couldn't hit it, but I I respect it. I like it. I love it. Um, But yeah, no. Okay, that's a good one. Well, what else has uh, been happening in the world? What are we? um, We've got to pick our posters. Uh, We've got to. um, Did you want to go check on the the? uh, Or do you want me to go check on that out there? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you want to go check on that? Yeah, and that just and it's it's just the uh, we've got to make sure that everything's running smoothly. We're about to uh, you know move into our pick your poster, and I've I've actually got my poster ready to go. And people, you you've probably seen behind me, and you know that I'm I am a fitness guy. So I'll give you time to kind of. Oh, um, I've already been going for an hour. Here, that old mate was just saying there. So yeah, oh, we yeah. can wrap it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we can wrap as well. Wrap it up. Uh, so I've. Got my poster here. Uh, I'm a fitness guy. I love the fitness stuff. Got T Claire already. So I want to have my next poster because last week I went with the uh, spear. Yep. So I'm, I'm, I'm moving into a bit more action shots type thing. And this one is... So you, have you heard of Eddie Hall? Maybe not. Maybe so he was not. the world's strongest man. I think it was like 2014, 15, yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. it was. But he was the first ever guy to lift 500 kilos in the deadlift. Really? Monster. Yeah. So... I've got the uh, I've got the photo here, which I want. I'll I'll uh, you, shoot, you, it you, to, you, shoot it over to our boys. So it would already be it up would have been there. in the back behind. Beautiful. But him just lifting five hundred kilos. It was in Australia, Melbourne. I'm pretty sure when he did it. And uh, fantastic. Yeah, five hundred kilos. I like that. Okay, so that's going up on the wall. I like it. I like My it over there. The <clears throat> well, I haven't really, you know, it always gets to this time, and I haven't really thought about anyone. You know, it's been a big weekend, hard start to the Monday, so I haven't really thought about anyone, but. I was thinking last week after I said, uh, who did I choose last week? Who, did, who ended up banging up there last week? Can't even remember. Uh, yep. But I had thought about this one to pay respect to the weekend, the original weekend warrior who wanted to start the weekend warriors. But, you know, we still haven't got him to call in yet. We're still waiting for his call-ins. But we think to pay respect to the man himself who came up with the weekend warriors, <laughs> Jake. O'Donnell up here, the one <laughs> master. We'll throw him up there on the wall. And uh, we think, you know, having his face up there every week might really, unless he, uh, you know, watches this podcast tonight and says, get my face off that wall, mate, which uh, could happen, you know. But yeah, um, it probably could. The worm king, the worm specialist of uh, Melbourne. I like we love that. him. I like that a lot. Um, he was out on, he was, uh, you know, like we call him a part of the late night crew. Uh, he's always, uh, you know, out and about, you know, late night. We are at Macca's the other night. He was there. He the actually he got a bit rattled. Actually, speaking of the boy, he, um, he uh, ordered a he ordered a spicy burger, or I'm not sure if he ordered it or that he got a hit with a spicy burger. But apparently, the bike he can do as many worms as he wants. He can do all this stuff, but apparently, a bit of a massive spice. spice has thrown him into a loop. He fell he fell down like a sack of potatoes out there in Macca's. He fell to bits. 
you see he was blowing up from a the minimal spice that they would throw on a Macca's burger. <laughs> Obviously, Macca's is you know worldwide establishment. They probably can't put too much spice on it, but the bloke blew up, <clears throat> couldn't handle it. Uh, so yeah, I'll shout out the uh, the original Weekend Warrior. Put him up on the wall. He can uh, throw a comment down below if he wants his face blurred out. Like that, like that a lot. So uh, yeah, wrap us up there. We think good episode. Tier list with the top five line. Must have been a long tier list, so hopefully the boy can find the footage because uh, that's oh, yeah. that not much to go off if you don't. There's no tier list. But let us know about your comments below on the tier list, how we did. For uh, sure, you like for sure. If you don't, you let us know. Um, yep. F- finishes off. Get the guitar going. That's the uh, that's oh, how yeah, we finish it yeah, off. Yeah. So quick, eh? well, like it felt, it's gone quick. So quick. Episode that's, 13 in we'll the book. We'll be back on Wednesday. And um, what's on Wednesday? Anything special? We got Tonners coming in or we don't Hopefully, know yet? We'll I'll see. I'll send a message. Hopefully we get Tonners in yet. We might have another guest episode. Otherwise, back to the uh, just your, your, your standard midweek Program. mania, mayhem, whatever it's called. Let's roll it. Sunny days, it's fine and I'm alive. Good friends, cheap wines, i survive. We can marry everything. Sunny days with fun, I'm alive. Oh, it's a rough one this Monday. <laughs>